once upon a time, which in this case means only yesterday, there was a little girl named Blondie Locks. She worked in the big city, but lived in the heart of an enchanted forest with her poor and humble father, a widower woodchopper, of course. And as Blondie Locks is tooling homeward to prepare a humble meal, she's unaware that the fickle finger of fate is upsetting an apple cart in her path. And this sets the stage for Blondie Locks to enter our story. Oh, no. Apples plus curb can only mean... Disaster! Poor Blondie Locks. She's wild about wheels. Took her life savings to buy the two she had. And now her equity is wiped out. What's more, it's getting late, and she's lost in the woods. Good she salvaged the battery and headlight. What's this? Ah, the bears live here. Maybe they'll let her clean up and stay the night. Alas, nobody home and the door is locked. Looks like Blondie Locks will have to sleep on the ground, and it's been snowing. But wait, over here, three cars in the driveway. For an overnight pad, a car sure beats a pile of frozen leaves. What do you know, a Monte Carlo. Must be brand new. Price sticker's still on. Manufacturer's list price, thirty-one twenty-three, And the extras bring this one up to forty-five fifty-six. <laughs> wow! That's a lot of bread to lay on a Chevy nameplate. Dig that panel. I guess the Chevy stylists figure that if wood grain accents are popular, they'd go all out. This panel's long on dazzle, but short on instruments. No gauges for temperature and alternator, only idiot lights. I see they put all the wood grain in one basket. No wood grain accents to carry the theme all around. Oh, oh I guess I'll curl up and back. Why won't this thing fold down? Oh, oh, that's right. The safety latch. Oh, it's got to be here somewhere. Nope. I give up. Ooh, ooh, my aching back. So that's where you put the release lever, on the bottom of the seat back. Thanks a lot, fellas. Good grief. If I can't find room back here to lie down, how do people make out sitting up? Did I say make out? I think they'd get out. Anybody who's thinking about a Monte Carlo should try this back seat before getting serious. Come on, girl, let's move. Guess I didn't leave anything. Can't get over how cramped this back seat is. That'll make a lot of car shoppers do just what I'm gonna do, look at something else. Ho, 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 a GTO. And it's still got the sticker. Hmm, let's see. It lists for $32.67 before the fees and goodies are added. They bring it up to $39.61. Hmm. Pontiac is more conservative with the wood grain bit. Gee, for a car that's supposed to be all out wild, you'd think they'd try to outdo the Chevy. At least in instrumentation. But the GTO, like Chevy, has only warning lights for engine temperature and alternator. And that's a big gripe with car buffs. Hmm, good looking interior. But at that price, they could hardly make it schlock. Ooh, I wonder if I can curl up in this back seat. Come on, I know you're back there somewhere. There, oops, that's far enough. What next? Not much sleep, judging from the way this seat sits. Oh, but still, it's, it's worth a try. Another bummer. I'll bet the Bear family didn't check these back seats before they bought. So now they just grin and bear it. <laughs> no encore, please. Ooh, new Dodge Charger. Oh, be good to a damsel in distress, dear Charger. You're my last hope. Ooh, ooh, bad news. List price for this V8 model's only 3108. Delivered price as equipped. Still only thirty-six forty-three, a lot less than either of the others, so it probably has less room inside. What? No wood grain? Hmm. Could it be a case of Dodge putting first things first in a car buff's car? Like I see, you have a full line of instruments where the others just have little windows for lights. Yet this is certainly no austerity car. In fact. What is there about this door panel that makes it look better than the others? Hmm, maybe the handle. Sure looks new and different, and it pulls in to open the door. 
An accidental bump couldn't work it. And me, I'm accident prone. In that GTO or the Monte Carlo with those little old rocker grips, I could be a GM dropout. Now here's a lever I can latch onto, up high and out in plain sight. Did I say less money buys less room? Correction, it buys more room in charger. Mmm, mmm, at last. If I owned this charger, I'd have it all upholstered in beautiful, genuine leather, bucket seats, wood grain panels, and... beautiful dream, Blondie Locks, and a real dream car, the Charger 500 Special Edition. Master stylists have combined rich, genuine leathers, high-style bucket seats, the glow of wood grain panels, and flashing chrome accents into a picture of sheer beauty. GTO's best interior can't match it. Monte Carlo's best interior doesn't come close either. So dream on in peace, little Blondie Locks. We'll see you in the morning. After you get into that house through the open back door, clean up and borrow something to wear from Mama Bear. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Hello, you bright, beautiful, shiny world. And you bright, beautiful, shiny cars. Now I'm going to have breakfast and look all of you over, but good. Hmm, that's a good-looking grill. This thing will hell out. I'm good. Buy that plain paint, don't do him gray. And therefore, I'll look uh, Under the circumstances, I'll uh, tune her out and give you a summary of her morning's activities and conclusions. With a tape measure borrowed from Mama Bear's sewing basket, Blondie Locks confirms what the eye proclaims. Charger wins on length and wheelbase over both the others. After measuring every which way, she adds all the figures and, again, Charger comes out on top, as indeed it does using the official Automotive News Ruminance Index formula. Then Blondie Locks decides to check the luggage compartments, noticing that the Monte Carlo spare fills half the prime space at the back of the trunk. GTO, likewise. But Charger leaves the easy-to-reach space clear for luggage by mounting the spare forward in the trunk. Charger's sharp racing-type fuel cap catches her eye, too. GTO doesn't have a sporty cap like this. Monte Carlo doesn't either, although it does have the longest hood ever put on a Chevy. But that's not making any points with Blondie Locks. She remembers where Chevy robbed Peter to pay Paul, that short rear seat compartment. And one look under the hood cinches it. The engine is so far back from the radiator, it needs this Rube Goldberg tunnel rig to channel the airflow. And by the way, here's a box score on power. The Charger line offers seven engines, from a 145 horsepower Slant 6 to the mighty 425 horsepower Hemi V8. The Monte Carlo line offers five engines, no six available, V8s from 250 to 360 horsepower. GTO offers four engines. Again, no six. V8s from 350 to 370 horsepower. Charger beats them both, both ways from the middle. As for roadability, Blondie Locks is checking that out right now. Let's tune in again. Charger, you're definitely ahead in ride and handling. I thought the other two were good till you spoiled me. My female curiosity demands to know how you do it. Well, both these cars have coil springs in front and back, like my bouncy bike has, mm, I mean had. No wonder Charger beats them all hollow. Big leaf springs in the rear and genuine torsion bar front suspension. That's quality. Better construction, too. Body and frame welded into one tight, solid unit not just bolted together like the other two. Somebody's been filling the ashtray in my Monte Carlo with apple seeds. Uh-oh. Somebody's been driving my charger. The hood still. Aha! <coughs> I've got the culprit. Hey, what a cool culprit. Oh, there, there, little lady. You've done us no harm. Excellent taste, my dear. And so, relaxed by the bear's friendly manner, Blondie Locks tells the full story, winding up with such powerful proof of charger value that even Mama and Papa Bear applaud. Blondie Locks, why, 
Well, I feel about you the way you feel about my charger. A penny for your thoughts. Oh, no. That'd blow my cool. Because the way I dig your charger, I dig you too. Baby. I'm sure you can guess the end of this story. Like everyone who stays with Dodge, they drive happily ever after.